Uh, as I said, the former Republican congressman from Utah, Fox contributor Jason Chafe, is also with us. He's here in studio <laughs> listening to Chad and may be happy that he's here in New York and not down there trying to figure this whole mess out. But this happens all the time, as Chad says. It was it almost seemed too good to be true. But the president, he's been hearing it. He's been hearing it from his base, whether it's on television or directly. And um, he's not going to sign this bill. What do you make of it? Well, I think the Republicans are going to have to live with the consequences of not doing their job over the last two years in giving the signature item to the president in giving getting that border wall funding right for the markets for those looking at this understand that the overwhelming majority of government is already funded and will continue to work in its full function uh, the house is uh, 75 percent of the what the government spends of the four trillion dollars is already it's automatic programmatic spending it continues in perpetuity right. and is not affected by this five bills have already passed uh, the big bills uh, DOD appropriations health and human services uh, labor all of this is already passed it would not be affected by the shutdown we're talking about billions of dollars in a multi-trillion dollar budget, but I think the president, this is the time he's going to have to hold tight for a minuscule part of the budget and make the issue about border security. I think that's a winning issue for I the think president. Your point on the markets is well taken. I think most investors sort of understand that, but just as one other factor, because not yeah. the only one, not the only reason, as I said, we're down 660. It was certainly added to the declines, but just another factor of uncertainty. Yeah. But politically, how does the president get to where he wants to be? I mean, there's no incentive, at least unless I'm missing something on the Democratic side to give in now if you're Chuck Schumer slash Nancy Pelosi and say, all right, Mr. President, here's your $5 billion. I mean, that's not going to happen, right? So what does happen? A lot of it is about the semantics of calling it a wall. To secure the southern border is something that is widely popular. It's not, it's not a surprise. This president ran on that but issue. But you know, to be fair, who called it a wall? I mean, yes. And, you know, and, you know what I'm saying? and the I mean, president overstepped, rally, right? and he overstepped when he said that Mexico was going to pay for it. Of course. It, right? Okay. And so, but that was... But where we are today, this is the last chance. And if he hmm. continues, he can still fund some numbers and, and scrape some money from other accounts and get it anyway. But I think what's very frustrating to members who fought and supported for this president is that they didn't actually vote. They're right. singing songs on the floor of the Senate, as we talked about. Yeah. And they let all these people off the hook by not voting and putting people on the record. Let's see who's where. Let's see who's really for protecting that border and for border security and who's not. Well, Pick you know, up those votes. You know where this is a bigger issue? I was just thinking while you were speaking, you were saying, well, for the markets, and they look at things in the big yeah. picture. If this threatens the president politically to the point, and I've heard people make this point this week, I guess, uh, well, David Asbitt, among other things, is this your, uh, you know, read my lips type of moment. And then, you know, he's been criticized and Coulter on down to say he's not going to be reelected in 2020. So if this is as big an issue that way politically, then you do kind of have a larger story on our hands for markets and everybody else. Do you think it's that big of an issue? If he I doesn't come through with the wall. I think it goes to both bases. I think Pelosi and Schumer are under pressure from their base to not cave in and do it. And I think the president and his base expected him to be tough on security mm -hmm. and to get that board wall funding. We're talking about a very small amount of money. I, and so both bases are very much involved. But can he get reelected in 2020 without a, a wall being built as he promised? What, what has to happen for him politically? I, I think a lot of people in his base, I think the president can get get reelected. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, but I do think he can build the wall, even if he went with the existing funding levels. But at the same time, I can think you, they expect well, you, them to fight for this. Can you do that? I mean, that's what yes. uh, Chad was just on talking about this. I should have asked him again, but I've heard he's been talking about it this week. Some, you need the, as he puts it, the consent of Congress for some of that when you move money around. No, no not really. Um, I put up, a, <laughs> there's, I just put up a, on foxnews.com, I just put up an opinion piece. If you go look at that, explain how about hundreds of billions of dollars are appropriated but not authorized by Congress. And if you have something where you don't spend everything in an account, you can give notification to Congress that you're moving money and that happens all the time. Okay, so it's if that a, does, if you're right about that and that does happen, that's enough politically for the president on his... It's not enough politically. It's probably enough to continue to build the wall. Okay. But politically, I think people want to see on the record, how are you voting? Yeah. Are you supporting the wall? Do you support a border security, yes or no? And they might see that vote in the House, at least. And then to Chad's point, they don't have the votes of the Senate, so who knows what's next. But make them vote. That's the issue. Make okay. them vote. But we're heading for a shutdown, at least short term, don't you think? Or Sure. Why not? It's Christmas time. Why not? Uh, <laughs> Uh, good to see you, Jason. <laughs> Former Congressman uh, Jason uh, Chaffetz.